Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Navneet from the One Ring Star. Today I'm going to do the We Are. She didn't put the hashtag or I don't know, Krista from Cross It Witch Tarot. She did the um, Divine Decks. Um, so I was really excited and wanting to do, do that Divine Decks because I have very strong decks which are my Divine Decks and I use on daily basis also so krista thank you for doing this and i love it so i'm going to do this divine decks of mine and i have added oracle and tarot both together i mean i have four five decks of oracle and tarot so i will not waste time and take too much time so soon i will finish it on the background you're hearing some mantra this is the mantra of god vishnu and Lakshmi so I was I was feeling I every day in the morning I listen this mantra so I thought let it be played on my video I hope it do not disturb anyone but it really makes me feel happy calm and centered so let's start my divine decks first I'm going to show you the Oracle the wild unknown animal spirit tarot oracle sorry not tarot let me zoom in yes this is by kim Kranz, and this is definitely oh my one of my favorite oracle plus it is definitely a very strong divine deck i love working with this deck this shuffle is great it's a great quality card and the artworks it's just i dwell into it and this always communicate with me uh, with spirit my guides my guardian angels this is my animal spirit deck so that's why i'm showing this one in my divine decks because it is for me divine uh, whenever i'm confused i'm not knowing what to do or what's going on my mind i always talk, take support and guidance from this deck and this is really very strongly guided deck and meditative deck too i love the artwork and i'm very big 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 fan of her artwork and it is one of my favorite oracle Many times I use this deck for new moon and full moon reading. I always add it because I need on those energies to let my spirit animal guides guide me or let me know what they want. So this deck is really a great deck to work as a divine deck. And I'm really, really into it. So I'm not going to waste too much time on each deck. So let me show you the, another one. This is the deck. I know people will say it's dark. Yes, it is dark. But this is very strong spirit. And my ancestral and my counseling deck from my guides and spirit guides. This deck is... I think nobody can take place if I want to communicate with my spirit guides and talk to them the season of the witch shaman oracle and look at the card I told you it's so 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 badly connected with me I never ever thought of this this deck is very simple with the nice keywords and the quotes which gives you a bit clue. It is a bit darker deck sometimes because I do shadow work also with this deck. But this is my divine deck too. It works for me both sides. And if I need to know something, I just grab this card. No matter what day, no matter what time, they talk to me, they guide me. Whatever inside me, it gives me the same answer what I want to know that's the main thing and it's really divine 
for me. Very divine. And it's beautiful too. I never thought that this kind of deck will be connect with me. It's really so great to work with. And let me tell you guys, please give a try. It will help you a lot. Because on my emotional times, on my problems, on the time of uh, too much is going on life, it helps a lot. Helps a lot. And I'm very happy that Lauren Anderson and Julia Das has done a great job. And I'm really happy with it. Next would be my another divine deck, which is definitely a strong uh, or is the Osho Zentaro. This is the deck Osho Zentaro. This is the deck uh, done by uh, Saint Martin Press, and this is very body the Buddha. The Zen attitude towards life is that of laughter, of living, of enjoying, of celebrating. Zen is not anti-life, it is life, affirmative, it accepts all that is. And this is very a uh, um, center that has a capacity to see life as a great adventure. And it is definitely a divine deck. It has the very play, a mystery school, and finally a blissful journey with no purpose other than to delight in every step along the way. And Osho is the capacity not to worship Buddha, but to become a Buddha. So this deck is, is follow others to develop the awareness within to bring the quality of light and love. So this is very strong divine deck. Why not? It is a divine deck. And it also gives me vibes of an energy of... Um, energy of healing strong uh, it has its own system it's not rws but somehow it let you know that what it's saying um, and this is very my old deck and you can see how i used a lot now i'm planning to edge them but it's really a beautiful deck to have in your collection and very different approach to it and perfect divine for me <laughs> some people love this deck some people don't so it depends how it works for different people as a different way love it so this is the Osho Zen Tarot so next will be my uh, I would love to show first oracle decks and then I will show you guys the tarot. This is the Secret Creators Oracle by Chris A. And I am really, really, really wanting to know people that this is really a divine oracle. Because for me, uh, this is the box. And I would love to show with my another divine deck, which is a tarot deck. And it's my Chris M. Light Shears Tarot. They both are so much. Let me. Um, yeah. They both are really a divine deck for me. They, they are my new moon, full moon reading. I do with this deck a lot. I need to know within. I think this is the deck. I mean, it is a divine deck. No matter what. I mean. For me, this is a spirit deck. This is a deck which connects, with supports, with my guides and my angels. And no matter what, I do talk to them. I have strong connection with it. And this is very much a, a light feeling towards it. I mean, a balance of light and dark. But... The oracle is totally light, totally, and it has very modern RW based in here artwork, but 
I think it has with me a strong uh, vibe and it tell me what is right for me what path I have to take what should I do sometimes I'm so much into confusion I think this is the deck it helps me to move and take step forward I think it's both of them are brilliant and works so nice very supportive deck and it definitely takes to you I love Chris artwork I must say she has done great job and I'm very big fan of her and it's really really I keep saying too many times the words but I'm sorry for it but it has those energy and vibe they go so well together plus they both are my dear and I don't know about others but it's one of my favorite for all time also all time favorite both of them they are just great to work with so this is my one life cheers and secret creators all crew by Chris and Next would be the Star Tarot. This is the deck I'm in love from the loan as a divine deck. Wow, it's matched perfect with my this. Okay, this was the bigger first edition. I trimmed in this 2023 January. I trimmed and edged in blue. And I think it looks really beautiful. I'll make a video on edge decks, my new modifying decks. So, but now I'm showing this one. It really came out so nice with blue. So I trimmed it and make it a pocket size. And it came out so nice. This deck is a bit strong energy of divine. And it is the thought base also. But I still love this deck. If you see the artwork, this is really to the divine feeling to it. If you see the artwork, you will feel divine. This is also one of my very strong spirit connected deck. And very communicative. And it always gives the messages to me. Kind of spirit guide languages messages. I don't know what it means, but how to explain it, but yes, it is those kind of tag, which gives me very great messages to it. And I just love working with it. The artwork itself brings you to those vibes of divine and spirits. If you see the devil, you don't feel the dark i mean bad energy you see on another, another level of reading or message whatever you say but while trimming it came out so nice i think it's look beautiful more this is perfect a divine deck for me and uh this takes you the spirit guides realm for me and it is a healing deck also. Very strong feeling for me. And why not? Because it is really beautiful. So this is my the Star Tarot. One of my favorite tools. Next comes the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. It's the pocket edition. I love pocket edition because my hands are small. So somehow I'm happy with it. This is the bag. And it's a matte finishing cardstock. It looks really beautiful. This is also one of my strongest divine deck. Very earthly feeling towards it. And if you see the artwork, you will say, as and many people knows about this deck, this is very grounded and... Spirit 
vibes healing kind of deck uh sometimes it gives me a but dark agal ram energy but this artwork is so beautiful and stunning i i just say this word this deck in one word is gorgeous deck for the artwork and it takes you in the centers the chakras you know all kind of vibration towards it so it is really a strong divine deck for me so i'm just zooming in just so that you can see more the artwork it's it's gorgeous it always shows me the two sides of energy which takes to me in other realm definitely very a uh, positive vibrational kind of deck and grounded and centered too it's really beautiful so this is dreams of gaia by ram felon and it's a pocket edition so next deck would be my uh, another favorite is the influence of the angel tarot this is very long time it is with me this is done by jody boskni barbasi and one of my very strongest it is my angel deck but it's a divine for me and i love using it i love the artwork the collage style and very vintagey feel to it and it's really a beautiful deck i must say and everybody should have in the collection this deck is also a very strong gives to rws base system system used and i'm in fall in love with it every time uh this is very divine deck for me because um, this is the deck on my other deck you will see light in dark side i told you but in this deck it's it's totally empress energy i mean divine mother divine angels spirit guides angel guides for me this is a very strong and positive deck for me i mean it never shows me any negative feeling never ever no matter what i feel what energy or what vibration around me or surrounding me but still it works great and i have no issue with this deck never ever i think it's one of my all time favorite too this is the divine deck and cards for it with cards i love this two of cups i mean look at the death card this painting is taken uh, is same is in uh, my new deck is uh, the billion black tarot the same painting is used few cards are there so this uh, it is a part of uh, spiritual influences or human experiences and this is a uh, uh this stories the artwork goes through years from in harmony with traditional cards so yeah this is the this is very um calm deck to simple deck and great deck to work with i think i'm falling in love with this and it is perfect divine deck even this is in the painting of williams blake tarot same i'll show you in light of so yeah i love it influence of the angel tarot one of my very favorite My next one is I'm sorry I was just my mantra is just off I hope you like the mantra because it's really so calming and peace and I would love to put one more which is the great one 
and I always listen to it. So next would be my, I'm not going to take too long. My another divine deck is the Tarot of Light. This is divine deck, definitely. By Dennis and artwork by Tony Cameron. And I love his artwork, no matter what. I know many people say, oh, most of the Tarot and Oracle are similar cards, artwork. But I love the bag. And look at the colors. They are so beautiful, isn't it? This, looking at the artwork itself, it takes to you divine world. <laughs> That's what I want to say about this deck. This is very mysterious, unveiled, and divine messages comes and balance to the, uh, you know, your future past, past, present readings. This is very uh, insight, brighter and lighter deck, I must say very beautiful i always go within the artwork it's so amazing look at it you won't even imagine if you go within so much is she's trying to tell you so much choices inside her am i i am falling in love with this It's really beautiful. Stunning artwork, I must say. I won't talk too much about each deck. Um, this card, uh, this deck itself says everything, I must say. Divine Spirit, guys, whatever the strongest connection. I think, look at the picture. It's so beautiful. I'm in love with it. Look at the angels. Look at this one. Very beautiful. And I'm happy that I have this deck with me. This is very strong of mind, true of sides and wise of heart. And this is definitely divine of soul deck, I must say. I hope you understand what I'm saying or what I meant. But look at this one of my favorite card in this especially I mean I know what to say about my Kali she is my favorite as usually if you know my channel I am a, she is my devotee I love her so this is the Tarot of Light they have changed the name as you know Beautiful deck. It's a defined deck, no matter what. Another oracle and perfect strong divine deck. I know she's very powerful, very strong goddess deck, but this is met call quality cut store. Look at her. She's strongest, more powerful. Kali. Very strong energy. She is the divine grace. So it is my divine deck. No matter what. For my radical transformation. For embraces my courage soul. She is the supreme spiritual protection mother. And I just love her. And it is my strong divine deck. I don't have to think so much about it. It is my divine deck. And one of my beautiful and I would love to show one more with it it is also another Oracle deck but one of my most favorite divine Oracle also which is the goddess on the go I would love to show both of them together because they both gives me she gives me more strongest power energy and she is the more on the lighter side but look at the painting and the artwork of both decks. They are brilliant to work with. They have their own energy and powerful messages in it. You don't even think of it. I mean, 
for me both are strong on my divine side uh, my I mean divine energy look at this I would love to show this one also I was not added but somehow I remember why I leave this one God is on the go is done by Annie Sophia Marashinki, artwork by Melissa Hart and Kali Oracle is done by Elena Fairchild and I'm very happy the work she did it. I'm really impressed as she's a Hindu goddess and she has done the great job. So this is my another divine deck. So don't worry now not much deck is left. Hardly one or two. Next one is my Druid Crafter. I trimmed it edged in bronzy sharpie. It's, I used a lot. You can see the way it looks. I have the backup, backup copy. It is my divine deck. My all time favorite too. Nobody can take place even for this also. It's my divine deck. It's my day to day deck. It's my most used deck. It is my grounded deck, earthly deck and lots of. Very spiritual, very paganism and I love this. This will take, nobody can take place like this the way this tarot and this oracle. I think this both, nobody can take place. Even Kali is there too, but still on tarot side, I'm telling you, it's a so beautiful, I love the sun card in it. I don't know why, I always go for it. It's a beautiful day, very earthly. I feel very paganism, um, feeling too energy into it. Um, but I love this even. I think in this deck, lots of cards are my favorite. Eight of course is really beautiful. Look at this. It is really beautiful. If you see, it's really beautiful. I love. It is my strongest. And very old deck too. And very love the star card. It is nice. Thank you, Krista. Because of you, I'm now able to show my divine decks. I was never able to. Because I now thought, yeah, I can do this too. My divine decks. Okay, this is the last I want to show. Oracle of Shadow and Light by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, I know it's for people, it will a dark deck. Why are you showing in the divine? Let me tell you, this support me so much as my guided deck. And supported deck and, and I need some guidance um, this deck always works for me no matter light or dark it always works for me. Uh, and in very less time it becomes my favorite and I already a fan of Lucy Cavendish of this artwork the big eyes I love this is a strong It is a dark deck, no matter, but there is shadow and light, name itself, explain. So I don't have to say too much. But, yeah, it gives me those vibes. It has those energy into it. So, okay, this is all my tarot and oracle decks, which makes me feel very divine. I would love to say one tarot deck I just got two months back. The Journey of Enlightenment Tarot in 2020-22 and December I got this deck. I think so. Uh, this is very alchemical transformation kind of deck. But um, I never thought in such a less time I have a strong connection with it. Very strong connection. And this artwork, many people have heard there is a lot of it going on. I never use peep deck. I don't like. But this is the deck. I connect it so much. I'm sure it gives me divine energy, divine feeling. Uh, I was not thought to add this now, but now I wanted to talk about this because this is the deck in less time. It connect with me um, to take out my, feel out my those inclinement energy. This is very emotional and 
brings those personal look at the artwork i used to say oh my god i don't like before when i came out but let me tell you guys please get this deck it has a lot of to say okay in the pip you will see lots of going on but there is rws artwork behind you can see the lot of things are going on so it will be easy for you also but it gives me those feelings of divine really and i love this deck no matter what within such a less time i am connected so much to it that i don't have any words to say but it comes under the, it takes me to the journey to enlightenment definitely the name itself is the divine feeling it is a divine deck for me i'm very strongly connected this deck i would show this is one of my favorite very colorful very vibrant colors used but still i love this strength card i love the hermit in this deck and within a less time i got so much strongly connected with it so i just wanting to show this also it's not being long with me uh, came long it's just hardly 2 months but i'm in love with this deck i don't know why um and it gives me those feelings of guiding in spirit guides and divine feeling to it so i hope you like my choices um please do let me know what you feel about it guys so this was my tarot and oracle decks my divine decks um and i'm really thankful to krista from krista wish tarot thank you guys thank you dear for making this uh hashtag i love it and okay thank you bye bye take care namaste